Hello guys and welcome back to Coral Island. Day number four, let's get started. What are we gonna do today? Are crops ready to harvest? Not quite yet. I'm thinking today though, we spend a little bit of money and we buy us some new crops. How does that sound everyone? Does it not sound good? And you know, in the last episode guys, I actually forgot, oh, wrong button. I forgot that we actually get these. That we get skill points and stuff. Um, let's start off with forging. Um, speed demon, increased printing speed by 10%. Ooh, that's actually really good. Double forging, chance of forge double items. Ooh, that's also kind of good though. Exceptional clutter, cutter, chance for regular trees to drop hardwood. I don't think we need hardwood right now, but I could be mistakenly wrong, but I don't think so. Either this double forging or sprinting. And I think, I think maybe the sprinting, right? Double forge. We'll get this one next. Now popping over to this one. Oh wait, no, light feet. Lowers awareness of insects and ocean critters. I think we're gonna do the light feet because I do remember struggling with this when I played it through by myself. I was not able to catch bugs. Like right now I'm doing kind of good, but I only catch three bugs. I only caught three bugs, sorry. I don't, I would like to try and meet everyone in this episode. We also need to give five gifts. I wanna go through and I probably clear up this path. If I'm not mistaken, yesterday we struggled coming back home. Okay, well these bugs that I caught, probably I'm pretty sure need to get donated. I have no idea. Anything that we have double up, we can sell. Ooh. Um, These, I don't really know. Like the forageable stuff, I don't know if we need those yet. So I don't wanna sell too many things right now. So I kinda wanna collect things. But let me know down in the comments below if I'm doing wrong. But I might not get to your comment right away because the previous video has not gone up yet. So I won't know until after this video. All right guys, so now that this area is all cleared out, we have a perfect walkway now through this little area, as you can see. If we're ever coming back from the beach late at night, we hopefully will not get stopped or stuck because we'll have this. And then we'll eat this and let's go over to Sam's general store. And let's get us some seeds that we can plant so we can get them. Oh. You're not welcome here. Hello, all. Passionate residents of Starlet Town. All this commotion is unnecessary. Pufferfish isn't here to do anything destructive. Quite the opposite, actually. We're here to bail this town out. Enough with the lies, Miss Pufferfish. We can all see what you're here for. You can call me Karen, and please do elaborate, Miss Betty. <laughs> the oil spill that reached our town last year was your doing. These old bones have seen enough of your atrocities. We don't want an oil drilling company around, Miss Pufferfish. Please stop now and take the drilling away from here. I'm afraid it isn't up to you, but yes, yes, we hear you. We're an oil drilling corporation, but things are not always as one-sided as Miss Betty suggests. We don't need your dirty. If I may, red shirt, we can make Coral Island lively again by bringing in tons and tons of our workers here. Once we turn the museum into a storage facility for oil, expand drilling sites to the lake and across the beach, see where I'm going here? I can see plazas with vending machines around town, parks. Many of our workers will want to relocate to this dying town. Pufferfish can help Coral Island become a magnificent oil town, the creating jobs and attracting our internal talent. In no time, you will see this town alive again. Picture this, pufferfish workers everywhere, filling by the pier inside, fishing sips, enjoying life. Red shirt, look at the big picture here. Let's face it, nobody cares anymore about this um, charming little island. Let us bail you out, expand our operations here on Coral Island's coast. That will make this island a world famous oil town. We're putting you on the map. All you need to do is say yes. And by bail out, you mean drilling around the island. Runs. Overfish investors will make a hefty profit. Do the math. It'll trickle down to you people. Folks, let's cool our heads. Nothing will be solved if we act out of emotion. Miss Karen, thank you for your time. Our door is always open, Miss.
free, right? Oh, I know you. Please to make your acquaintance. No need to be confused, you don't know me. I'm Karen, I'm with Pufferfish Corporation. Three, this island is dying. You both know it, these people, they're just in denial. We should just make the best of it. Whoa, guys, that was crazy. I was not expecting that whatsoever. Yeah, honestly, guys, what path should we take? Should we save Coral Island and do like the farming part or should we go down the pufferfish route? So I saw somewhere that says cauliflower is like the best. So we're gonna buy up those six. That's all we can buy. We have zero coins. So do I know you? Oh, nice to meet you too. My name's Everest. Ava for short. Let's talk to her real quick. We don't see too many new faces, so your arrival is great for the town. As I was saying, cauliflower is the most return you get on money. For zero coins now, we just spent all of our money. But now, in eight days, right, we'll be rich. So let's get these um, cauliflowers planted, and let's go around the town some more. Let's go do some fishing maybe today. I'm not sure what we should do. These are planted now. Hopefully, we seriously don't, don't need any money for anything right now. It's only the fourth day, so what could we possibly need? Let's go find some more gifts to give people around town. I really have no idea where to go or what do you want to do right now? I hope puffer fishing that was kind of creepy. But it's like the first insight to the story. Yes. Hey, you want this? Yep. Thanks, Brie. Oh, she don't, she don't like that. People. Alice loves these two, but she doesn't hate or dislike it. What? Where does she go? I was in the pause menu. Did that count as a thing? It did count. Where did she go? She literally disappeared. Let's go into the museum. Nope, they haven't magically returned. Oh, hello there. You're Bree, right? I'm sorry, you caught me at a bad time, but... Just look at this. It's so empty. Life's work. So sorry, what are you talking about? Display nothing is so high con- I'm, I'm so sorry. Thanks, Bree. I worked so hard to fill the museum. Well, it wasn't completely filled up, but at least it's not as empty like this. Not gonna lie, when Millie told me the town was gonna sell all of my collection, I was so furious. It's not a feeling that I'm used to. The one thing that made me feel useful is going to be taken away from me. I couldn't stand it. But deep down, I knew the town really needed the extra fun to clean the oil spill. There wasn't much I could do about it. So I went back to my folks to cool down and think about what I'm going to do next. That's when I realized my two options. Am I gonna continue the pity party or am I gonna rebuild the museum's collection now that the town isn't in crisis? That's right, I'm gonna rebuild the collection. By the way, Bree, I've heard some things about you. People tell me you're good at finding things. Now, I'm not too bad at it myself, but I can certainly use that skill of yours. If you find anything interesting, why don't you bring it over? Sounds like a lot of work. I can bring anything? Maybe. Will I get paid? Of course, we'll have a little something for you as compensation to make it worth your time. So what do you say, Bree? Wanna help me fill the museum with the treasures of the island? I guess. That's what I like to hear. Woo! Okay, so donate an item to the museum. All right, I guess it's time for me to go home and get the stuff that I had collected and see if I can donate those things to the museum. What if I gave this little girl some trash? All right, let's go take what we have to the museum, our little bugs that we caught. So boom, 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 and boom. We got a reward. Candy tree seeds, wow, thanks. Okay, what is this? Empty no more. Enter claim rewards. Okay. So is that it? What else do we do? That's it. So I just keep don't I just keep donating them. How many items do we need? Oh like look, they're in there. They're like in there. Look at the little butterflies. I don't know. That's cool though. Okay. I wanna go catch more bugs and stuff. Let's just try to spend tomorrow maybe. Like catching bugs and going fishing. How does that sound? Cause the mines, I don't know what day the mines open yet, but they're not open. So tomorrow, let's just go fishing and bug catching. Oh yeah, I forgot we sold a macro 45. Okay, I got 150 though. Oh, from the quest, right? Oh, Mark. Yes, good morning. I'm Mark. Hello, Mark. Can I help you? You're the new farmer I know. I'm here to give you some info. The cavern northwest appears now open right through. 
the forest. Okay, so we just unlocked mining. Okay, well maybe we'll go mining today. When you see Jack's ranch, go left and follow the path. You lost me. <laughs> Find the ranch and go left. There should be a sign to lead you. Catch any of that? Thanks, Mark. The band of smiles cleared up the top levels of the cavern. It's safe to roam, no monsters anymore. Just don't go too deep, your garden rake won't help you there. That's all, if you want to know more, ask Kira. I'm done here. Why are you so rude? <laughs> Waste of time. Is that a crow? Oh my gosh, a stinking crow. But I spent a lot of money on that cauliflower seed. I'm so, look, that's gone now. Okay, we're gonna go mining right now, right? Cause I do wanna go mining. We don't need none of that besides this and this. I wanna have at least a full inventory of space. So we'll put our stuff away and let's go. All right, here we are. Our first time entering the mines. Get back, get back. You, the weak looking farmer, get back. Get back from the months. Wait a minute, where are the monsters? <clears throat> well, Mark and I did clear out the top levels, but that quake, hmm. The shaking happened right after you entered, right? There is an old myth about certain curses reacting to a presence, but that can wait. My name's Kira. I assume you're the new farmer. Being a farmer and all, you're probably here to do some mining. In that case, only the earth shaft is currently accessible. The elevator over there works, but only down to the first floor. From there, you'll have to descend by foot. When we go down deep enough, you can restore access to the other floors. You definitely come to the right place to mine for ores and gems. These caves have them plenty. Just don't forget they have monsters. Take the sword. You'll need something to defend yourself. A long descent, so make sure you're well supplied. Be careful down there and good luck. All right, beast level five, let's do it. Level one, dun dun dun. Okay, not too bad. Let's come over here and get this, um, bronze, is it? Yeah, bronze ore. All right, perfect, let's go down. Level two. All right, guys, as I'm reversing the mines i don't really know if there's anything called like a good luck day or or what from you know like stardew valley i didn't really see anything on the tv that was worth watching every day maybe the weather report but just see the weather the next day so does it really kind of matter like i did want to use the tv to find out things but it was just telling me things that i already knew like that i should water my crops every day but yeah we know that but i don't know if it wants me to like have good luck days bad luck days that one was easy see like i feel like we're getting lucky okay so there's a mob over there guarding that little crystal ah all right let's get it and go i'm leaving you sucker before we on four okay we just need to get down one more level to unlock the next like area okay the mob right there ah oh bah, bah. Oh, no, it hit me. Bah, bah. It blocked my shot. Coming around to the side. Ha, ha, it's in the water. Boom. Yeah. Can't handle the debris. Oh, yeah. We locked the level. It's only 12 o'clock, almost 1 o'clock. So maybe we just mine literally all day or at least until our stamina runs out. Maybe I can try to get to level 10. All right, what happened to our good luck, you know? There, there it is. 
I was literally about to say, or maybe we're not that lucky that the entrance is right by the entrance. Two of y'all, but I, oh, you all, you try to clock where I was going. Oh, snaps, I'm messing y'all up. Ah, I messed up. Oh, what is that? Is that a spider? Oh my God. It's really a spider right here. Ah! Ah! Try block. Ah! That was gross. That was disgusting. I literally got the chills from that little spot. Let's go see if there's anything else up here that we can grab. Nothing. Let's jump down to the next level. Son of a gun, I'm getting away from you. Oh, we still got some hours, guys. Don't worry. We are gonna make it to level 10. All right, we're back at the entrance. The mobs despawned. I didn't know that that could happen. Unless they followed me around, then I lost them. Let's go. All right, let's see if there's any ore. Yes, there's ore. All right, we're about to be in level nine right now. One more level and then we'll be all the way down. All right, there's no more ore. Let's go jump down. All right, we're all literally on level nine, about to go to 10. I'm struggling finding the exit. And we cannot give up, we're too close. Like this rock, I mean, this one will be the exit. This one. Then the next five will be the exit. One, two, three. He told you within the next five, I called it. And we made it down. Oh, this one. Let's go check out our prize. Oh wait, let's crack some more boxes. What is our prize? What is our prize? A new what? slime goop. Okay, I wonder what slime goop is used. For. Let's get out of here. We made it all the way down to level ten on our first day. That's gotta be good, right? Who says that we can't collect a little bit on the on our way over to, back home? Okay, we made it back home with some good loot. Let's pull all, put all of our stuff away. Yeah, hopefully tomorrow we'll get some good money off of these turnips, and we can go buy some more seeds. Oh, snaps farming level one, new skill point, and three energy. Fertilizer and a scarecrow. We do need to make a scarecrow. Level two mining plus two skill points. Woo! -hoo. Six energy, explosive ropes, and stone sign. Let's go. 490 for the turn. Need some more money than that game. Hello. Hello, hello. What could be better than a visit from your local blacksmith? Word around town that you started a mine in the earth shaft. That's actually why I'm here. As you mine, you'll come across ores. What good does that do? You might be thinking. Well, you can turn ores into bars. With enough bars, our shop can upgrade your tool. Work smarter, not harder, as I like to say. For a fee, of course. <laughs> to make bars, the furnace you can now craft courtesy of this blue. Thank you. You need five of the same ore to make one bar. Five? <laughs> Jeez. You also need one charcoal to fill to fire up the furnace. Yep, I think you're all set now. Thank you. Bye. All right. Let's take a look at our stuff. We need to do that. Starting out though, we can claim that. Into the mines, we can claim that. All or nothing. We can't do that. We can't do this one yet. All right, let's do it. Let's craft us up a scarecrow and a furnace. Okay, let's put our scarecrow. It does not really cover much, but it'll cover this whole plot right here. We can cover it like that, I guess. Um, let's put our furnace up here for now. And let's get out our ore from last night. Oh my, we had so much ore and now we only have a little bit. All right, there we go. How many ores did it take to craft this thing? It took 20 bronze ore, oh my gosh. All right, we almost got a thousand coins. I think what we should do is honestly buy some seeds. After these seeds grow, we can buy the backpack upgrade. Oh, another cutscene. Hello. Hey there, Bree. It's good to see you. I'm just heading to Raha's Coffee. Are you out socializing? Um, yes. By the way, what's with the pufferfish stream? No, can you tell me about Kern? Yes and no, who is pufferfish? Yes and no. We haven't met everybody yet, but almost there. The oil drilling company, ah. It's easy if I show you. Let's head to the community center and chat there. My coffee can wait. See that big old F on the town rank? Yes, that's us. It didn't happen out the blue though. 
This room used to be the pride and joy of our town, proudly displaying Target Town's A rank trophy. An A. Sometimes we got a B, but it was never an F until. Ah. This old man is gonna need to sit down to tell you what happened. Some time ago. That's correct, Mayor. As usual, every season we start by looking at why people visit Starlet Town. We can report that visitors come here to see your museum, the heritage sites, and the ocean. The town rank we award is based on the condition of these things at the time of review. Today, we're awarding Starlet Town with a rank of F. Say what? Hello. Listen, prepare all necessary documents and equipment. I found the perfect location. Last year, an oil spill from a neighboring island made its way here and wrecked havoc. Everything went downhill from there. Karen was there at the town rank hearing. They've been watching us the whole time. Those conniving pufferfish people. You heard what she said the other day at the pufferfish building? Her plan to bail us out is to rebrand Starlet Town as an oil just the thought of abandoning our legacy, the museum, the ocean, and the heritage sites, it's hard to accept. On the other hand, thinking about our town going under is harder. Our town used to be good, Bree. Great even. Business was booming. The town? It was very lively. I'm afraid that unless we can increase the town rank back to A and regain the trust of visitors, we will have no choice but to work with Pufferfish. Feeling the museum seems straightforward and more than possible, it will just take time. But healing the sick heritage sites or getting rid of those stubborn roots on the ocean? Where do we even start? How do we even start? Our town is in a tough position. It's a lot to take in, I know. How about you join me to get the coffee? The walk and the fresh air will do us both good. Whoa. Is everything all right? Oh, snaps. What was that about? This thing was lighting up earlier though, so can't do nothing with it. All right, anyways, let's go back to what we were doing. We were gonna go by so close. Today's Saturday though, so that's luckily. Now I'm bored camp. Oh, we missed Joko's birthday. Okay, tomorrow's Paul's birthday. Oh, we need to keep an eye out on that. Tomorrow is Paul's birthday. Hello. Um, I'm gonna get one to replace that one. Do some potatoes. Ten potatoes. I do still have enough for the backpack. I think I'm gonna do it. I think I'm gonna do it. Let's get it. Your total storage has been increased to 20. Thank you. How nice. Let's go plant these up so then that way we can earn some money because we're poor. Right, I put all of my tools away yesterday. All right, now that those are all watered up, here we go. I think today we'll spend the rest of the day like fishing and bug catching. Oh! I was gonna say there's little to no resist. Let's go. We're gonna catch it. We're gonna catch it. Our first fish of the day. We're gonna catch it. We're gonna catch it. Oh my god, that was so close. Yes! Crab! Angry crab. Let's go. You can just hold this down and it just won't even go back down. That's a hack. Oh my god, this one is doing a lot of resisting. A lot of resisting. What is this? No! I'm so close, dude. Just. Come on. 
a mackerel. Mackerels are insane. I forgot we have a lot of inventory space now. Oh my goodness, don't tell me this is another flyer. Trash, wow, thanks. This is where it tells us. Donated her. Donated a mackerel. Haven't donated a crab or a jellyfish. They're perfect. We don't need to donate that. We can get that. We can go find somebody to give adapt to it. We get the mackerel. People like getting mackerels out of skips. Like an animal crossing, you know what? You can give your, your villagers anything. Fox food. All right. That's going to be that for that. So find somebody we can give this daffodil to. Two daffodils. I guess people... Oh, maybe I can give it to you? Yes. This is good. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's go see if we can find somebody else. Oh, the guy, the guy, the guy. Hey, thanks for the... Thanks for thinking of me, huh? Thank you. That's cute. All right. Oh, we got progress in all these things. Okay. Befriend townies, claim the reward. Okay, we're doing this right now. It's crap. It's melting. Like, rose be gone. Yes. Boom. All right. And I forgot we have our points. Farming. Stay hydrated or double crop. Chance for crops to go grow faster. I. This sounds wonderful. I'm not going to lie to you. I want this. I'm getting this. What am I doing? Crop. Yes, we need this to grow faster. Mining. Chance to mine double ores? Yes. Double gems. Hmm. Rock domino. Chance to break surrounding rocks. I think double ore will be better better for us right now. Let's get home. Actually, let's stop at the museum and like donate some stuff and then let's go home. And boom, boom, boom. That was a lot less exciting than before. But nonetheless, we donated a lot of stuff. All right, guys, we completed all of our quests thus far. We are ending this video on a positive note. I almost said let's go to sleep. Let's sell some stuff so we can wake up with some money. Let's sell this. Sell these posters. That, that, that. Is there anything else in here that I don't want? I don't think I want none of these. I don't think we need any of these. Hopefully we don't. Let me check my inventory. It tells you if you need if you donate it or need to donate it. It doesn't say. So let's put these in there too. Alright. And I also noticed that we have one of these ready for mining. I guess we had two. I'm going to do the rock domino. Because that'll give us a chance at unlocking the path quicker, I'm assuming. Like if we break a rock and the rocks around it break. Let's go to sleep. We're ending the video on solid note. Let's see how much money we're going to end it with. Fishing. Yes. Okay. Forging. All right. So the ones that are worth the most money are wasabis. Let's keep our eye out on some wasabis. That's good. We are earning some money. Honestly, guys, if you enjoyed today's video, leave a thumbs up. And if you've watched it thus far, please consider hitting that subscribe button. I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out, everybody.